The monkey has been at the zoo for about a week now. Animal control workers caught it after it was first spotted in the West Mission area. The veterinarian for the Gladys Porter Zoo will perform x-rays, a tuberculosis test, and a general physical to determine the Pata's monkey's health. This will be the only time it will be allowed out of its 30 to 45 day quarantine at the zoo. Despite several attempts, it took Mission Animal Control workers weeks to catch the African primate. According to the lead Gladys Porter zookeeper, the Pata's monkey is one of the fastest primates, so it was no surprise to him it was able to get away. But finally, workers were able to lure it using pan dulce or sweet bread. We still don't know how the monkey arrived in South Texas, but zoo officials believe that it was likely going to be smuggled into Mexico where the trafficking of primates is illegal. Reporting in our newsroom, Rafael Carranza, Action 4 News.